the starting lineup will look like this. In lane one will be Lily Reinler from New Bremen. In lane two, Sophia Whirling from Minster. In lane three, Lexi Niemeyer from Minster. As you said, in lane four, Grace Moeller coming in with the fastest prelim time. In lane five, five Josephine Pottist, um, who last year finished second um, in this event. Uh, Cassandra Bomholt from Versailles will be in lane six. In lane seven from Coldwater, Jenna Lugers, uh, who finished third last year. And then Morgan Hunter from Parkway rounds us out in lane eight. The meet record in the girls' hurdles belongs to Karen uh, Bikey. She ran almost over 40 years ago, a 15 flat. It doesn't look like that, that one is going to be in jeopardy tonight as the girls are in their starting blocks. The official has called them. And we are about to get the championships underway. Girls are down at the start line, climbing into their blocks. We got a clean start. Looks like a nice start there in lane two, but right out the great gate, you can see Gracie Moeller coming into a commanding lead. Right down the middle of the track, she has opened up almost a full hurdle lead, and she is easily going to take this one. It's the boys' turn to take the track for the first time tonight as the boys' 110-meter hurdles is about underway. The top seed time belongs to Colton Reese of Versailles at a 15.31. The uh, rest of the runners look like this. In lane one is Luke Sweeterman from Coldwater. In lane two, Max Knapke from Minster. In lane three, Bo Dwinger from Minster, who finished fourth last year in this event. In, in the fourth lane is Colton Reese from Versailles, as you said. Uh, Jay Schrader in lane five. In lane six, Landon Arling. In lane seven, Gideon Beasley from Versailles. In lane eight, Carson Herod from St. Henry. The meet record belongs to Josh Steinbrunner. Back in 2018, ran a 14.66. So we'll see if Colton Reese can, on a hot and humid night, and see if he can maybe try to chase it down that one in what would be a career race for him. And they are off. The start is clean as they come over that first hurdle and quickly out to a lead. Yeah, Colton Reese really attacked that first hurdle. There he's almost fell there, um, but was able to contain his composure and finish easily. And yeah, Colton Reese with the big win right there. You mentioned attacked that first hurdle and when you do that and come through the confidence you can handle that as you didn't see what sometimes you see out of those hurdle runners. They hit that hurdle and they stumble and it can cost them and some of them even hit the track. But a great strong run by Colton Reese as he is your MAC champion and we will have the sprinters coming up as soon as they clear the track. The girls 100 meter dash is next up and we have some pretty fast times on the track. Three girls running under 13 seconds should lead to an exciting race. Yeah, absolutely. In lane one, uh, Morgan Hunter from Parkway uh, finished second last year um, in the MAC championship. In lane two, Allison Hamburg from Coldwater. In lane three, Kylie Williams from Minster. Uh, the reigning champ um, in the MAC is Alex uh, Kesson from St. John's. Uh, last year she ran a 12.56. Comes in with the best prelim time. Uh, in lane five, Izzy Zahn from Coldwater. In lane six, Mara Pearson from Fort Recovery. In lane seven, Anna Rosner from Fort Recovery. And in lane eight, Kirsten Jackson from St. John's. And we'll take a look at the resu results of the hurdles before we get started here in the girls' 100 meter hurdles. In eighth place was Morgan Hunter. In seventh, Lily Rindler. In sixth was Lexi Niemeyer, fifth, Jenna Lugers. And in fourth, Cassandra Baumholt. In third place, Sophia Whirling. Second place belonged to jo Josephine Ponash. And your champion for Marion Local, Grace Moeller with a time of 15.75 for the boys' 110-meter hurdles. 
Jay Schroeder of New Knoxville came in eighth. Max Kanapke of Minster was seventh. Carson Herod was sixth. Gideon Beasley, fifth. Luke Sweeterman was in fourth place. Landon Arling, third. Bo Dwinger was second. And Colton Reese of Versailles in a time of 15.12 is your MAC champion. The girls, 100 meter dash participants, have been called to the block as they get ready to go. Meet record is a five-way tie as a 12.50. So we have a chance to see here as Alex Kesson, as you mentioned last year, ran in the 12 fives when she took home the championship. They are off. Kesson with a good start out of the blocks in the middle of the track, head down, and she's out to a good lead. It has a good one step, but it looks like Lane right beside her, lane five might have caught her, and we don't know with our viewpoint. Man, we're up a, a little bit behind that Izzy Zahn from Coldwater. It looked like Kesson was going to run away from that one, but Zahn stayed with her, stayed right on her shoulder, and gave her a charge at the end. It may come down to the lean, so we will see when we get the official results who came away uh, with the title. And the boys' 100-meter dash is up next. The boys' 100-meter dash is on the track, and there should be another close race. And just like we had back in that girls' 100-meter dash as we have some really fast times here in the final. Yeah, as we look at our lane assignments here in lane one, Austin Steinbrenner from Fort Recovery. Chase Litmer from St. Henry is in lane two. Lane three, Owen Reinler from Marion Local. In lane four from Coldwater with the fastest prelim time um, is Jack Reithman. In lane five, Nate Busher from Marion Local um, with a very close time to that. Uh, in lane six from St. Henry, Harrison Wendell. In lane seven from New Bremen, Hunter Schaefer. In lane eight from St. John's, Clay Pagnaby. And we have a great race right there in the middle of the track. One and two, neck and neck all the way through the finish. And it looks right there at the end, the lean. Jack Reithman looked like he may have taken that one home over Adelphus St. John's. I lost my place here on my sister. I'm Marian sorry, local. Marion Local, Nate Boucher. Yeah, great race by both those guys, and once again, might come down to the lean. Yeah, the girls' one was close. The guys' ones followed suit, and that is going to do it for the sprints. The relays are coming up. We'll step aside. You're watching High School Track here at WOSN. Welcome back to New Bremen High School. Tonight's scoreboard sponsor is Wabash Mutual Telephone, a proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. Today's premier sponsor for the New Bremen Cardinals is New Bremen Insurance. Committed today can ensure a great tomorrow. Nate Garlock alongside Josiah Stober. And we have moved on from the individuals, and now we are into the relays. These sprint relays are my favorite races to watch. Before we get to the lane assignments, let's take a look at the results from the girls' and boys' 100-meter dash. Starting first for the girls. In eighth place was Morgan Hunter of Parkway. Seventh was Kirsten Jackson of St. John's. Anna Rosner of Fort Recovery came in sixth. Allison Hamburg was fifth from Coldwater. Mara Pearson was fourth from Fort Recovery. Kylie Williams came in third. And we mentioned it was awfully close for one and two. And when it all came down to it, Alex Kesson just edged out Izzy Zahn. Izzy Zahn takes home second in a time of 12.75. Alex Keston is your MAC champion in a time of 12.73. The boys' 100-meter dash results. In eighth place was Austin Steinbrenner, Brunner, excuse me, of Fort Recovery. In seventh was Clay uh, Padudney of St. John's. In sixth, Hunter Schaefer of New Bremen. Chase Littmer of St. Henry was fifth. In fourth, Harrison Wendell of St. Henry. In third, Owen Rindler of Marion Local. Second, also for Marion Local, Nate Boucher and in first place Coldwater Jack Reithman he is your champion he came in with a qualifying time of 11.61 but took home the championship in a time of 11.33 dropping some big time there to come away with 10 big points for Coldwater so now the girls of 4x2 is on the track as we have seen, all of these teams have had some pretty good sprinters, but now instead of the individuals, they get to put their four best on the track and see who can take home the title. Yeah, as we look at our lane assignments for the 4x2, in lane 2 is the team of St. John's. In lane 3, St. Henry. In lane 4 with the best seed time, just over a minute 47, is the Minster. In lane 5 is Coldwater. 
In lane six is Versailles. In lane seven is New Bremen. And lane eight is Parkway. As you mentioned, Josiah Mincer comes in at the top seat time, 147.66. The meet record was set in 2014, a time of 145.31. So Mincer would have to drop some big time, but I learned a very long time ago to never doubt a Minster team that runs. Uh -oh. it, it doesn't matter if it's cross country or track, never doubt them. Yeah, some great runners that have come through Minster as, as they're off. So as you see, all the girls came out into the stagger. It can get a little bit tricky when you're trying to see who may get out to that quick start. That stagger really causes a lot of issues here in the early going. But you can tell back there in, it looks like that is for sales and cold water out to some good starts. We'll see who gets their relay handoffs first. Well, it's Mister. so important this time of year, especially those handoffs. You know, those can count you some big seconds as we looked at a few teams that struggled a little bit there as they come around this curve. Yeah, just as you were saying that out in lane eight, Parkway had a good start, but almost had to come to a dead stop to get that exchange off. And as we come down the front stretch for the first time, New Bremen leads it, but with the stagger, it looks like Minster may have made up the whole thing. We'll see how the handoffs go here, and Minster gets the handoff first. Yeah, quick handoff there from the two to the three leg there, and Minster looks like around that curve has got a good lead and coming down the back stretch. So Minster out in front, followed not too far behind by Coldwater. They came in with a seed time of 148.50. But right now, it's going to come down to this last exchange. Minster can get it off cleanly. They're going to be in good shape. A little bit of a, a stutter there, but it still looks like a good handoff as Minster is off. Yeah, and talking about the 2022 champion in the 4x2 for the girls, it was Coldwater. So Minster looking to take that away, which a good 20 to 30 meter lead here. Coldwater back in a second, or excuse me, Versailles actually. Minster is going to come away with a big victory, followed by Versailles. And then right next to them is going to be Coldwater. But the Minster Wildcats off to a great start here in the MAC Championships as they take home the title in the girls 4x2. The boys 4x2 takes the track. Before they get underway, we will update the team scores. After eight scored events on the boys' side of things, Marion Local is out to a big lead. They have 95, point, 95 points. Minster is in second with 51. Coldwater in third with 44. St. Henry fourth with 39. Versailles in fifth with 28. St. John's back in sixth with 24. On the girls' side, Versailles is out in the lead, 57 points, but this one's a lot closer. Coldwater in second with 53 and a half points, and Minster behind them with a 51 and a half. Boys 4x2 has been called to their start lines, and the lineup looks like this. In lane one, Fort Recovery. In lane two, New Knoxville. In lane three is Coldwater. In lane four, and the reigning MAC champions and are in Marion Local with a time of 133.18. In lane five, Versailles. In lane six, St. Henry. In lane seven, New Bremen. And lane eight, Minster. Meet record coming into tonight was set back in 2010. And it is a minute 30.7. Top seat time coming into tonight belong to Marion Local, 133.18. But very closely behind them was Versailles, 133.78. As we will see if those two can stay close or if anybody else can drop some time and challenge them. As they head into the first exchange, we'll see if we get clean exchanges. And it looks so far, all teams had pretty good exchanges there in the first zone. Yeah, it looked like St. Henry might have got the first exchange there. Marion Local and New Bremen weren't too far behind. So looks like we got a close race. Five teams here on the front stretch. New Bremen hanging tough up front. Minster out on the eighth spot, trying to hold them off. Right in the middle of the track, though, Marion Local. For sales, St. Henry, neck and neck at that exchange. Yeah, and all three teams about handed off the exact same time there. And it looks like Marion Local right now and Versailles are battling it out, ready to hand off there. for the final leg. And there, and then we'll see the stagger may come into play here. St. John's takes off first for the exchange zone. A bad exchange as they have to turn around. Versailles is going to have a huge advantage. But the Marion Local's anchor leg is trying to keep it close. St. Henry also had a little bit of a troubled exchange as the third runner hit the track. Coming down the front stretch, Versailles and Marion Local, and Versailles is going to pull away. 
And the Versailles Tigers are going to be your MAG champions, followed by Marion Local and St. Henry in third. The distance runners take the track to showcase that, uh, how do you put it nicely? Just that type of energy I don't have anymore. <laughs> <laughs> as the girls 1600 meter run is up next, as we have a full slate of runners as they get ready to go. Has some pretty impressive times as well. The meet record belongs to Sunny Holding. She set that way back in 2004, a time of 454.28, a record that it's probably going to last for quite some time. If anybody's been around track any time over the last, you know, 20 years, you remember that name, Sunny Olding, and then some of the feats that she did. But with that said, we have some girls that have some pretty fast times coming into tonight. Yeah, as we look at the lineup here for the girls' 1,600-meter run, um, we look at the top four times coming in. Uh, the reigning MAC champion, Margaret Hemmelgarn from Minster, um, last year ran a 514 0 .50 comes in with the best seed time tonight. Uh, Natalie Brunswick from Fort Recovery finished fourth last year. Kiera Rahm from Versailles and Meredith Barga come in with the top four seed times. But if we look at the remainder of the field uh, from Minster, Morgan Kettner from Marion Local, Josie Bruns from St. John's, Elena Rasman from Fort Recovery, Ellie Will from Parkway, Taylor Mullenkamp, from Marion Local, Ellie Heitkamp. From Coldwater, Lucy Langenkamp. Two teammates from New Bremen, Caroline Whitlack and Allison Poppy. From St. John's, MC Kopak. Two teammates from St. Henry, Ali Heath and Paige Boucher. And from Parkway, Emery Sinning. So our first lap is about gone as Margaret Hemmelgarn is out to a nice lead. And I'll tell you, we, you know, when we first got here, you know, we've kind of talked about the weather a little bit. You know, we had some storms in the area that have moved on. It got very humid and it got very hot. You know, I, I know it's hard to uh, to see now at the stage of life that I am, but I used to fancy myself as a distance runner. And you know, those those really hot days can be they can just take a lot out of you. The sun, the, the sweat, the energy that you put out. You love those cool days, light wind days. Those were my favorite days to run. And right before this race, right after the 100 meter dash got over with, as we were waiting to start this 1600 meter run, we had a severe drop in temperature. We had a very quick downpour. It cooled everything off. If you're a distance runner, you couldn't have asked for a better scenario. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, they're all, you know, preparing, you know, especially for these championships, you know, trying to prepare for next week uh, for those district uh, meets and you know it's it's sometimes hard you you worry about it because you do have athletes standing around waiting for their race but you know as a distance runner you love this temperature there's a light rain um, going on right now yeah, so just, just started here in the last as you were talking Josiah you see the umbrellas go back up and that rain's coming back down a little bit you know but as you said for these distance runners this is nothing for them they love this type of weather uh, cool off a little bit and they're ready to go. Hemelgard has kept her lead, is right behind her though. The two runners from Fort Recovery and the Versailles runner is trying to see if they can't keep her in their eyesight and try to track her down here over the last two laps. You know, we mentioned this is day two of the MACs uh, championships and back on Tuesday the 9th, they had day one and we had some results coming out of that and especially in the field events. Yeah, as we look at some of these um, events um, and, and some of their the finals uh, for these events in the girls high jump in fifth place was Chloe Homan from New Bremen in fourth place was Addie Albers from New Knoxville uh, Ava Ranley from Marion local finished third Megan Fortman uh, finished second from Minster and the champion for the 2023 MAC from Minster was Kayla Lam uh, with a high jump of five feet two inches um, so it's nice for Minster, 1-2 is big points uh, towards the championship here. Uh, for the girls long jump in fifth place, Ellie Stamen from Versailles. Um, in fourth place, Ava Stamen from St. Henry. Uh, in St. John's, Alex Kesson finished third. From Coldwater, Izzy Zahn. And from Fort Recovery, Mara Pearson with a long jump of 17 feet, 11.5 inches. So a uh, good jump there for Fort Recovery and a big 10 points for their team. For the girls pole vault, in fifth place, Amelia Seifring from St. Henry, 
In fourth place from Minster, Riley Higgins. From Versailles, Bryn Briscoe. In second place, Jenna Lugers from Coldwater. And with the leading or the highest pole vault from Versailles was Heidi Stammen um, with 10 feet 6 inches. So the gun has gone off as we have the last lap underway here in the 1600 meter run. Hemmelgarn out to a lead. But Natalie Brunswick from Fort Recovery trying to track her down here in this last lap. Now you mentioned, you know, when you start looking at the results from there from day one, and we'll have a few more that we'll get to during the boys' time as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. But, you know, these runs, especially Minster, they're behind, but we've seen them here ca calling back into it. They're able to fall back on some nice results there on day one. And Hemmelgard right now is in line to get them some 10 big points here in this mile run. Well, and the big thing for these teams is if they can get multiple athletes to score some points, even if it's two, three, four points, those can be big towards the end, and especially if you're trying to come back as this Minster team is trying to do. Well, and that's what Fort Recovery has on their mind as they sit back in the second and third spots right now. But it's going to be all Hemmelgarn as she is going to cross the line, taking home the MAC championships here in 2023. Natalie Brunswick. She comes across in a second and a fight for third all the way down. And it is going to go to Fort Recoveries. They will finish two and three to come up with some big points. But when it was all said and done, your champion, Margaret Hemmelgarn of Minster, she takes away the 1600 meter title. Welcome back to New Bremen High School for the MAC Track Championships. Today's premier sponsor for the New Bremen Cardinals is New Bremen Insurance. Commit today can ensure a great tomorrow. Boys, 1,600 meter runners moved up the track as they get set in their alleys. And they will look as follows. Yeah, if we look at the top four seat times here, um, leading it is Trevor Heitkamp from Fort Recovery, finished second last year in the MAC. Uh, comes in with a seed time of 4 minutes, 32 seconds, 0.52. Um, following him is Jack Grishop from Minster, finished fourth last year. Uh, Zach Weidman from New Bremen. And Troy Stuckey from Marion Local are our top four runners, but rounding out the remainder of the field here. Tyler Rowan from Parkway. Landry Knorr from Versailles. Eddie Obringer from Coldwater. Ryan Happen from Minster. Cole Powers from New Bremen, Caleb Putnam from New Knoxville, Henry Homan from St. John's, Tony Mormon from Versailles, Trey Godemuller from Marion Local, Ryan Mestemaker from St. Henry, Logan Follenkamp from Parkway, Parker Brunswick from Fort Recovery, Hank Kopak from St. John's, and Isaac Hannawald from Coldwater. Meet record belongs to Sam Prakel. He set that back in 2012 with a time of 4:13:44. We should have an excellent race here. I mean, these distance runs, you know, you call them distance, and you know, everybody kind of has their own uh, idea of when you say a distance race. But anymore, when you start watching track and you start seeing the caliber of these runners and the training that goes into it and the races that they're running, anymore, these are just sprints for four laps. It's just who has the better condition that can run a sprint for for a mile. It's incredibly impressive what these guys are able to do. And we have a, we have a handful of guys who are just one or two seconds away from each other. And the rain that had started to fall looks like it has lightened up or almost gone away. Still some umbrellas out there, but can't really even see it out of our window. So should be relatively light, should be good conditions as these guys take the track. Yeah, and as you said, you know, times, you know, quite a few of these runners under 440, um, you know, that's that's moving. Like you said, uh, it's no longer this long distance thought of I'm going to stride out and, and just take my time and then finish. It's you got to sprint and you got to move. And a lot of these runners we'll see tonight are in that boat. So they are underway as they will have to work through the stagger to through the first 120 meters roughly as they get to come together as they get to the other side of the track and out to a quick lead and a little bit hard from our vantage point but that looks to be well, let's look through here quite honestly I'm not I'm not sure who that would be out to that early lead looks like maybe a runner from Coldwater has it jumped out it's hard to tell sometimes on that back stretch with some of these colors um, being similar but so we'll get a better look as they come around here on this front stretch 
As we're doing that, we'll take a look at the results from the girls' 4x200 meter relay and the boys' 4x200 meter relay. In seventh was a Parkway. Sixth, St. John's. Fifth, New Bremen. Uh, St. Henry came in fourth. Coldwater in third. Versailles in second. And your girls' 4x200 meter MAC champions was Minster in a time of 145.60. And that black definitely is purple as it comes around <laughs> to this front stretch. And that is going to be uh, led out by our top seed. That's Trevor Heitkamp as he got out to a very quick start. And it looks like he's trying to lead this thing from the get-go. Yeah, it's kind of hard on that back stretch with that rain. Their, <laughs> their jersey looks I, a little bit it darker. It to me looked like that was a black jersey back there, and I could not figure out who would have had a black jersey. But it was purple as Fort Recovery's Height Camp is out to a lead, wanting to go wire to wire here. Three runners back behind him, trying to keep him uh, within distance. As you see, one of the runners looking to make a move right there to move up from fourth into second place. Yeah, and that looks like Zach Weidman from New Bremen and the top four we had mentioned, top four seed times are your top four out in front right now. We got Fort Recovery, New Bremen, Minster, and then Marion Local. So all of them trying to find their pace here, trying to stay up with the leader, Trevor Heitkamp. Taking a look at the results of the boys, four by 200 meter relay in eighth place, Fort Recovery, seventh, New Knoxville, sixth was Minster, fifth place belonged to Coldwater. New Bremen comes in fourth. St. Henry took home third. Marion Local is your runner-up. And in a first, Versailles with a time of 131.16 are your boys 4x200 meter conference champions. We started to read some of the results from a day one here where these boys we talked about, what they're moving, but we got a chance we can take a look at a few more results. Yeah, as we look at the boys' high jump results, top three here, Nolan Follenkamp from St. Henry. In second place, Luke Sweeterman from Coldwater. And our champion, Drew Boggs from St. John's with a high jump of six feet. And our boys' long jump, top three, Clay Patterny from St. John's. Came in third, Dan Bruns from Marion Local and Kyle Otte from Marion Local. So a, a one-two finish in the long jump with 20 feet, 9.75 inches with the finish from boys long jump. And last one here, um, we'll look at our boys shot put here. In third place, Will Firmel from Minster, Jack Napke from Marion Local and our champion Dustin Quinter from St. Henry 54 feet, 7 inches for the boys' shot put. Height Camp crosses the line to begin his last lap. He is looking strong, but a nice pack and a good fight for second between the three closest runners. As Height Camp looks to be putting it on, as he looks like he wants to try to set a new PR here tonight in excellent conditions as his lead is starting to open up. Yeah, you can see those first three laps, he's really kind of pacing himself, setting the pace for everybody else. And this last, you know, 400 meters, you know, he's been really moving, really striding out and extending that lead. So Jack Grisha trying to pull away to take second place. But a nice job by Troy Stuckey to go with him as Grisha is trying to hold him off. And it looks like he's going to make a move here to try to extend that lead. As Heitkamp is going to move around a runner that is a lap down, and he's going to look to close this one strong here in the final 100. So Trevor Heitkamp is going to take away the championship, but we have a good fight for second as Grishup looks like he might be able to hold off a charging Stuckey as Grishup is going to be able to come across in second place, followed by Stuckey, and in fourth is going to be Zach Wiederman of the New Bremen. So the seeds hold, and Trevor Heitkamp is your champion. We will step aside, and when we return, we'll go back to the relays. The girls' 4x100 meter relay will get us kicked off. You're watching the MAG Championships on WOSA. Welcome back to New Bremen High School. Today's scoreboard sponsor is Wabash Mutual Telephone, a proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. The Midwest Athletic Conference Championships are well underway. We've already had some great races, and the girls' four by one is on the track to try to continue that um, as we have some pretty fast times in the field. Yeah, as we look at our lane assignments for the four by one in lane one, New Bremen, lane two, Minster, lane three, Coldwater, lane four, with the fastest time is St. John's with the 51.61, in lane five is St. Henry, lane six is Versailles, lane seven is Marion Local, lane eight is Fort Recovery. 
Girls have been called to their blocks. They're down, waiting on the set signal. Set. And they are off. A clean start for all the teams. And we mentioned how handoffs are so important during that four by two. And the four by one, it's even that much more important. Your room for air is even smaller as we were only going around this track one time. Yeah, it looked like St. Henry did a really good job, had a good handoff there in the middle of the pack, and looks like they're extending their lead. And as you said, that handoff is so important to get you quickly into your next leg. And St. Henry so far has had two really good handoffs. And keep an eye on Minster down there in lane two as they're coming through that stagger. They had some very nice handoffs. And we'll see what happens after this last one. It looks like it. Might be Versailles out to that lead, but here comes Minster down low in lane two. They are opening up that lead. Yeah, keep an eye on St. John's. Alex Hessen, the champion in the 100, comes back for St. John's. Looks like might have a third place finish there. That was a very close, a little bit hard from our angle, but Versailles had that second place, but Kessen being pushed with a, a runner right on her left as Coldwater was trying to push them. It is a very close finish. We'll have to wait until we get the results to see who came in. But in no doubt was your champion as Minster takes home another title. The girls 4x1 was exciting. Came down to the um, finish line as we had a nice fight for second, third, and fourth. It's going to be the boys' turn to see if they can have just as an exciting race. As again, we have some pretty fast times. The meet record is 43.85 setback in 2000. And 11, and we have some teams that would love to be able to get their time down to that today. Yeah, if you look at the best seed time for Marion Local, 44.12. So, you know, that's that's a lot of time to shave off, but it's not unachievable for these uh, Marion Local runners here. But as we look at our lane assignments, in lane one is Fort Recovery. In lane two is Minster. And lane three is Parkway. As I said, lane four, Marion Local, the reigning MAC champs. In lane five, St. Henry. In lane six, Coldwater in lane seven for sales, and lane eight, New Bremen. Taking a look at the results from the girls 1600 meter run, in eighth place was Morgan Kettner of Minster. In seventh, Allison Pate. Sixth was Caroline Whitlatch. In fifth was Taylor Molenkamp. In fourth, Meredith Barga. Third, Ellie Will. In second, Natalie Brunswick. And in first place, Margaret Hemmelgarn in the time of 519.19 is your champion. And with that result, we have a new leader atop the team scoring as Minster now has a two and a half point lead over Versailles. Yeah, we talked about just that importance of multiple um, athletes scoring and Minster's been doing that in these last couple races. As the lead off runners for each team get down into their blocks. They wait on uh, the official to put them in their set positions to see if they can get off to some good starts here. Set. And we have a clean start. Marion Local looks to be out to a good start. They're running in the middle of the track. But we had several as they already look to be getting rid of the stagger towards the top of the lane. Good exchanges up top by New Bremen and Coldwater. But here comes Marion Local flying right by New Bremen there in the middle of the track. Yeah, a lot of solid handoffs and another good one there by Marion Local. St. Henry had a good handoff on that last exchange and as they're coming in, into the final exchange here. Marion Local looking very smooth around the track as they had clean handoffs and that is what's led to this big lead that they have as they are chasing down the finish line. St. Henry looking to hold off Coldwater and it looks like it's going to be Marion Local first, St. Henry second, Coldwater third. We've had sprints, we've had distance, and it is time for the mid-distance runners to take the track. I'd like to thank today's premier sponsor for the New Bremen Cardinals and its New Bremen Insurance. Commitment today can ensure a great tomorrow. So the girls, 400 meter dash participants are on the track. The meet record belongs to Caddy Evers. Uh, Evers, excuse me, 57.70 run back in 2007. As we look at the lane assignments here, um, with the best seed time from Versailles is Alexis Magoto. 
uh, comes in with a seed time of 59.92. As we look at the rest of the field, in lane one, April Baker from New Bremen. In lane two, Anna Rosner from Fort Recovery. In lane three, Cameo Cedarleaf from Minster. In lane four is that Alexis Magoto, who finished second last year in the MAC. In lane five, from New Knoxville, Santa Shade. In lane six, Izzy Zahn from Coldwater. In lane seven, from Minster, Ava Stamen. In lane eight, from Versailles, Katie Litton. Uh, the official has blown his whistles, so the girls are now waiting to be told to get set in their blocks. You know, we talked about the skills of the distance runners. You know, we know the speed of the sprinters. Well, here in this 400, and then when we get to the 800 later, you get to combine those skills <laughs> from the sprinters and the distance, and that gives you your mid-distance. These are, <laughs> you know, I like to joke. I, I've coached track for a very, very long time. I used to always joke with my mid-distance runners, like, there's just a, something a little bit off about you guys. <laughs> like, I mean, the, the ones who, who love this race, who love to come out here, this is, in my opinion, the hardest race to run in, in a meet. I mean, they're all difficult. You have that talent. But to run this 400 and to be an elite 400 runner is probably one of the greatest feats in all of sports. Yeah, I agree with you completely. I always told my um, runners, I said, there's, you know, it might be a couple screws loose for you to want <laughs> and enjoy this race. But, you know, you see some of your best athletes out here, you know, that want to grind this out. Um, this race and some of them, you know, grow to just love the competition here. So Magoto out to a good start as she reaches the final 200 meters. She has a big lead. She has completely erased that stagger and opened up a lead. But on the inside, here comes Minster's Gamco uh, Cedarleaf. Cedarleaf trying to make this one close, trying to track down Magoto. Magoto wants to hold her off. Final 50 meters. This one's going to be close. And don't look down, but on the outside, here comes Caddy Litton. Litton may have overtaken Cedarleaf for that runner up spot. And that was a tremendous race. But when it was all said and done, and had your top seed time, Alexis Magoto uh, comes away with the championship. And then a tight race for second and third. When we get the final results, we'll make sure we let you know who took away those spots. The boys' 400-meter dash is up next on the track. The meet record belongs to Damian Winter, a 49.40 run back in 2010 has stood tall as we have quite a few participants that are right around each other there in that low 52 range, so shaping up for another great race. Yeah, as we look at the best prelim time here uh, it was registered by Trevor Stearns from Parkway with a 52.05 as we look at the rest of the field in lane one Nolan Follenkamp from St. Henry in lane two Lucas Thibault from Minster in lane three from Versailles Tyler Barga in lane four is that Trevor Stearns in lane five Wesley Schoen from Marion Local in lane six Victor Holscher from Marion Local in lane seven Ashton McMurray from New Knoxville, and in lane eight, Matthew Niekamp from Minster. All the runners are down in their blocks, waiting the gun. Turning out to be a very nice night here in New Bremen. The temperature has dropped, very little wind, as these 400 runners are off. Looks like Wesley Schoen has gotten off to a great start out there in lane five as he eliminated that stagger very quickly. It'll be interesting to see if he's able to keep up that pace. But down on the inside, as you can see, for sales, Tyler Barga. It's a little bit difficult if you've got to take away that stagger, but he's in good position here as they round the last 150. Yeah, Wesley Schoen comes in, finished third last year in the MAC in this race. And in lane seven, Ashton McMurray from New Knoxville finished second. Schoen had a great start. He's trying to go wire to wire, trying to hold off a charging parkway runner. As Trevor Stearns had the top seat time coming in, he's going to come up to come away with second. But Wesley Schoen came th comes through, had a great start. You saw him fire out of the blocks, eliminate that stagger by the time he reached the first 100. And he rode that all the way to a title here in the boys' 400-meter dash. 
We are going to step aside, and when we return, the hurdles come back to the track as the girls' 300 meter hurdles are up next. You're watching the MAC Championships on WOSN. Welcome back. Today's scoreboard sponsor is Wombatch Mutual Telephone, a proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. I'd also like to thank today's premier sponsor for the New Bremen Cardinals, New Bremen Insurance. Commitment today can ensure a great tomorrow. The girls' 300 meter hurdles are on the track. And this is another one of those races that test your speed, stamina, coordination. This is a very difficult race. Absolutely. As we look at the lane assignments here, with the best time in lane four coming in, Carly Busher from St. Henry with a 48.56 time. Uh, in lane one, Alexis Berry from Parkway. In lane two, Grace Muller from Marion Local. In lane three, Josephine Pottist from Versailles. In lane four is Carly Busher. In lane five, Miriam Garrett from Versailles, Kiana Matsuda from Fort Recovery, in lane seven, Julia Muller from Marion Local, and Addie Albers from New Knoxville in lane eight. Meet record belongs to Leslie Mormon back in 1988. She ran a 44.85, or 84, excuse me, here in this race as the girls are set down in their blocks. It is a clean start, race to the first hurdle. And it looks like we have several that went over there at about the same time. Looked like a nice start uh, from Fort Recovery's Kiana Matsuda, as she looks to be out in front. A little bit of a hesitation there, but still first one over there on that second set of hurdles. Yeah, and with this 300 meter hurdles, is that sprint in between is so important, you know. But you get to those final last two hurdles, you know, it look like the hurdles grow um, because you're using so much energy to get over. As we had an athlete fall down there, um, but there's looks like a battle here at the finish. And this it is, it's Matt Suda trying to hold off a charging Garrett. And Garrett takes over the lead. She's go over the last hurdle cleanly. She's going to cross in first. Matt Suda is in second. And third place is going to go to Grace Moeller of Marion Local. The boys' 300-meter hurdles is on the track. Now, meet record belongs to Michael Guttenmuller, a 38.50 run back in 2009. Yeah, as we look at the lane assignments here, with the fastest time coming in in lane four is Owen Riddler from Marion Local with a time of 40.08. Um, in lane one is Luke Sweeterman from Coldwater. In lane two is Landon Arling from Marion Local. In lane three, Connor Gibson from Versailles. Uh, Owen Riddler is in that lane four. In lane five, Colton Reese from Versailles finished third last year in the MAC. Lane four, Jay Schrader from New Knoxville finished fourth. In lane seven, Kenseth Hoying from St. Henry. In lane eight, Max Kanapke from Minster. Owen Riddler won the race to the first hurdle. And him and it looks like Connor Gibson are out to great start as Gibson, the freshman in the middle of the track, right now looks to be out to a slight lead. But here comes Riddler as he's coming on the inside. A little bit of trouble over that last hurdle. We'll see if that cost him. Over clean with both Riddler and Gibson. Gibson with a slight lead coming into the last hurdle. Gibson trying to hold him off. Here it goes into the last hurdle. Both were clean. And Gibson looks like he is going to edge out Owen Riddler as the freshman is going to take home the victory. It is time for the mid-distance runners once again to come to the track as the girls' 800 meter is waiting to get started. Yeah, as we look at the uh, lineup here, um, with the best time in the reigning Mac champ from Minster, Taylor Roth, um, will be in the middle of the field. I'm sure we'll see her very quickly. Uh, also, some of the top four times include Annie Hemmelgarn from Minster. So Minster, two names up there, um, you know, fighting for this MAC championship. Uh, Meredith Barga from Versailles and also from New Bremen, Maya Hirschfield. As we look at some of the other athletes here from St. Henry, teammates, Riley Balmer and Elena Mesher. Uh, from Parkway, Amanda Barrett. From Marion Local, Josie Bruns. From Versailles, Kira Rahm. From Fort Recovery, Ellie Will. From New Knoxville. Aria Fleming from Marion Local, Ashlyn Muller from New Bremen, Caroline Whitlack, two teammates from St. John's, Breslin Rohr and Elena Will. From Coldwater, Mackenzie Hammonds. From Fort Recovery, Megan Diller. From Parkway, Jordan Schaefer. And from Coldwater, Kate Hemmelgarn. 
We will take uh, some time here as we wait for the 800 meter to get underway to try to get you caught up on some final results. The boys 1600 meter run final in eighth place was Parker Brunswick. In seventh was Trey Guttenmiller. In sixth, Ryan Halpin. In five was Tony Mormon. In fourth, Zach Weedman. In third was Troy Stuckey. In second place, Jack Greasup. And in first place in a time of 427.24, Trevor Heitkamp took home the championship. In the girls, four by 100 meter relay. In eighth place was Fort Recovery. Seventh, New Bremen. Sixth, Marion Local. Fifth place belonged to St. Henry. Coldwater comes in fourth. St. John's, they follow in a third. Your runner-up was Versailles and Minster. Girls take home the 4x100 meter relay championship in a time of 51.07. Moving on to the boys, 4x100 meter relay. In eighth place was Fort Recovery, seventh Minster, sixth was New Bremen, fifth Parkway, fourth was Coldwater, third was Versailles, and St. Henry comes in second. Marion Local in a new meet record of 43.65 to take home the conference title. As the girls 800 meter runners put on their marks and they are off two laps. And we talked again about this mid distance anymore. It's just a mixture of how fast can you run and there's no <laughs> You know, you, there's a little bit of strategy. You want to try to get out to a good start. You open your stride up. You try to get, settle into a, a good pace to keep yourself up towards the front. But, I mean, any more of these girls and on the guy's side when they take the track as well, it is just an all-out everything you got for two laps. Yeah, I used to think of that, you know, stride out for as long as possible and then sprint at the end. But, you know, with the athletes today and as, as how hard that they train, you know, they get out there and they want to run. As we see here, we have two Minster runners already setting the pace here. You know, a good 20-meter lead here in that back corner. So continue to see as they're about to um, lift or shift over there into the bottom lane as we have Minster in one, Minster in two right now. And Taylor Roth, she is your leader. She has a big lead as she comes through, finishing up her first lap, her teammate back in second. And she has some company as New Bremen, Fort Recovery, and Versailles are all right there trying to challenge her. You know, we mentioned some of the results, and um, we did have a change after the girls' 400-meter dash was scored. Versailles jumped over Minster with a, uh, they have a half, or excuse me, a half a point lead, 91 to 90.5 right now. As we have a few other events prior to this one that still need to be scored, but these points are very big as Roth still out in front. Her teammate, though, being overtaken and falling back to third. Yeah, as we look here, you know, just scoring points is just huge. And, you know, if you can get two athletes in the top four here, as Minster looks like they are continuing to do here, um, you know, those points become so big as you're fighting for that team championship. And, and right now, Minster's in a good spot to gain a lot of points here in one and three right now. And it looks like we have a new Bremen in second um, right now. So um, could be some opportunity for some big points for new Bremen and Minster here. And as we see Taylor Roth cross the finish line and take home the championship, her teammate, Amy Hemmelgarn, fighting back. She's going to take home second. She's going to cross the line. And in third place is the new Bremen runner, Maya Hirschfield. She's going to round out the top three here in the girls' 800-meter run. The boys' 800-meter run is up next. Meet record belongs to Sam Prakel at a time of 152.02 back in 2013. We have, again, another loaded field with some really low times there in the low two minutes. Yeah, as we look at the leading time coming in is Jack Grishup, which we said his name already uh, tonight on this broadcast. Comes in with a two minutes, three seconds, .87. Uh, as we look at the, re the other top four, uh, Patrick Bernhold, Andrew Pullman and Noah Buddy from uh, Marion Local round out our top four uh, seed times as we look at the rest of the field. Uh, Josh Schoen from Coldwater, Colby Bentz from Parkway, uh, from St. Henry, Evan Heitkamp, from St. John's, Riley Weslick, two teammates from Versailles, Tony Mormon and Dylan Dunn, uh, teammates from New Knoxville, Noah Holland and Gabriel Gonzalez, from Minster, Will Knapke. From St. Henry, Nolan Follenkamp. From Coldwater, Drew Mormon. From St. John's, Andrew Bakke. From New Bremen, Sam Bernhold. Uh, from Fort Recovery, Parker Brunswick and Reed Albers. And from Parkway, Derek Smith. 
As they come around the final 100 here of the first lap, you do see Grishop out in front. Right next to him is Sam Bernhold of New Bremen. But Marion local, Andrew Pullman pulls out to the lead. Grishop right behind, Bernhold right behind Grishop as they are right now having a great race back there. We'll see if they're able to keep Pullman here in their sights and able to do something here on this final lap. Yeah, and we'll look at the updates of scores for the, the men's side here shortly. But as we look, as and we see some consistency here from this Marion local team, you know, two athletes in that top four, top five, you know, continue to get them some big points here as we see on the back stretch. Um, as the athletes trying to pull away here and trying to gain a lead. Sam Bernhold made a move with about 175 meters to go. He gives himself a nice cushion here coming around the final curve. Coleman not too far behind, and here comes Grisham. Grisham pulls into second. Bernhold trying to hold him off. Jack Grisham trying to come even with him. He's going to come up, and he's going to overtake first. The freshman comes from third to first, and he is going to take away the victory, followed by Bernhold, and then Pullman comes in in third. Another new Bremen runner, fourth. Marion Local looks to be in fifth as everybody a nice little pack there finishing out the final 10 here in the boys 800 meter run we are moving through this race uh, or this meet quickly we have some sprints left to do though as the girls and boys 200 meter dash are on the track next we're going to step aside and be back Welcome back. Today's scoreboard sponsor is Wabash Mutual Telephone, a proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. The girls' 200-meter dash is on the track as the sprinters take the center stage for the final time tonight. Yeah, as we look at the uh, fastest time coming in, it is Izzy Zahn from Coldwater, who finished fourth last year with a 27.04 uh, time. Uh, has shaved almost a second and a half off that time for his seed time. Uh, but we look at the lane assignments in lane one, Brent Egbert from New Knoxville in lane two, Anna Rosner from Fort Recovery in lane three, Alexis Magato from Versailles in lane four is that Izzy Zahn. Lane five is Alex Kesson from St. John's. Lane six is Kylie Williams. And lane seven, Kirsten Jackson. And lane eight, Kiri Heckman. So a good race as we predicted right in the middle of the lane there between Izzy Zahn and Alex Kesson. They've been battling all day, but it is going to be Izzy Zahn, and she is going to run away with it. Look at that stride. Look at that opening that she has built as Izzy Zahn is going to be your 200-meter champion. Alex Kesson coming in second. And we'll have to wait to see for the results for third as there was a close battle there for the third position. The boys 200 meter dash is up next. Just like the girl sprinters, the boys sprinters get to star one more time here in the evening. Yeah, as we look at the lane assignments here, but with the fastest seed time coming in from St. Henry, Harrison Wendell uh, finished fourth last year in the MAC, comes in with the best seed time of 23.61. Uh, in lane one, Austin Steinbrenner from Fort Recovery. In lane two, Carter Jones from Marion Local. In lane three, Trevor Stearns from Parkway. Harrison Wendell is in lane four. Uh, Nate Busher from Marion Local is in lane five. Jack Reitman from Coldwater is in lane six. Lane seven, Tyler Barga from Versailles. In lane eight, John Keller from Minster. Meet record belongs to Sam Filippo, a time of 22.10 sent back in 2010. A clean start from all the runners. Nate Busher down in the middle of the track. Looks to be off to a good start, but he's being pushed by Zach Reithman. Reithman and Busher come around the curve neck and neck. They're being pushed hard, though, by Harrison Wendell. Looks like it's going to be Busher that's going to take it home. In second place, Jack Reithman. And rounding out the top three from St. Henry is Harrison Wendell. The girls' distance runners are back on the track. We saw an exciting 1,600-meter run. We're anticipating the same here out of the girls' two mile. Yeah, as we look at the time here, with the best seed time is Natalie Brunswick from Fort Recovery uh, with the time of 11 minutes, 37 seconds. Uh, as we look at the other top four here, uh, we look at Cheney Cedarleaf from Minster, finished second last year, uh, running a 12.06. 
as we look at uh, Marie Niekamp from Minster also, um, and then also Araya Pfeffing from New Knoxville all come in with the top four times. Um, we also have a Chloe Homan from New Bremen who finished third last year um, in this field. As we look at the rest of them, Christina Tong from Parkway, Aaron Frederick from Versailles, Ellie Heitkamp from Marion Local, Taylor Molenkamp from Parkway, Jenna Hart from Fort Recovery, Heidi Frank from St. Henry, Riley Suchlin from New Bremen, Carly Graves from Versailles, Olivia Baki from St. John's, uh, Claire Muller from St. Henry, and Ella Wilson from St. John's. So the 3200 meter race is underway. Jumping out to an early lead. As it looks like that is gonna be Fort Recovery's Jenna Hart. Oh, no, excuse me, that is actually gonna be Natalie Brunswick. As she had the top time coming in. Right behind her, it looks like the two Minster teammates as they try to keep her close as well. We'll take a look at some more results to get everybody caught up. Starting first with the girls' 400-meter dash. In eighth place was April Baker. Seventh was Ava Stamen. In sixth was Katie Litton. Fifth, Anna Rosner. In fourth place was Santa Seed. In third, Cameo Cedar Leaf. In third place, or excuse me, second place was Izzy Zahn. And then in first place, your girls 400 meter dash champion in a time of 58.79 seconds was Alexis Magoto. We take a look at the boys 400 meter dash results in eighth place was Lucas Thibodeau. In seventh place, Matthew Nykamp. In sixth place was Nolan Fullenkamp. Fifth place, Ashton McMurray. Fourth was Victor Holscher. In third place was Tyler Varga. Second, Trevor Stearns. And the 400 meter champion for the boys from Marion Local was Wesley Schoen in a time of 50.4 uh, seconds. Taking a look at the girls' 300 meter hurdle results. In seventh place was Addie Alberts. Sixth place, Alexis Berry. In fifth place was jo Josephine Potash. Fourth was Julia Moeller. In third was Grace Moeller. Second place belongs to Kiana Matsuda. And in first place was Mira uh, Garrett from Versailles. The sophomore comes away with the victory in a time of 47.40. And that jumped her team's lead to 15 points after 13 scored events. We'll take a look here. There's a couple of more to see what that final re uh, result is after 14. But this one is going to come down to the wire, it looks like. Taking a look at the boys, 300-meter hurdle finals. In eighth place was Jay Schroeder from New Knoxville. Seventh place was Max Kanapke. Sixth place, Luke Sweeterman. In fifth was Kenseth Hoyer. In fourth place, Connor Gibson. Third place, Landon Arlen. Second place was Owen Rindler. And in first place from Versailles, in a time of 39.77 seconds, Colton Reese as he comes away with a big victory in the conference championship for Versailles. Girls 800 meter run, eighth place, Ellie Will. Seventh place, Caroline Witchlatch. In sixth place was Meredith Barga. Fifth place, Megan Diller. In fourth place was Riley Balmer. Third place was Mia Hirschfeld. In second place, Anna Helmogarn. And in first place from Minster, in a new meet record of 215.07 seconds was Taylor Roth of a Minster. The boys' 800-meter run results. In eighth place, Tony Mormon. In seventh place was Josh Schoen. In sixth place, Will Kanapke. Fifth was Noah Booty. In fourth was Sam Bernhold. Third place, Andrew Pullman. Second place, Patrick Bernhold. And in first place from Minster in a time of 2 minutes, point one nine seconds, Jack Grishop of Minster. After 14 scored events, Marion Local with a big team lead of 160 points. Minster back in second and 85 with 85 points. For sales in third with 70. And St. Henry sits in fourth with 60 points. Final result here from today to get us all caught up. The girls, 200 meter dash. Eighth place was Bryn Egbert. In seventh place, Alexis Magoto. Sixth place, Carrie Heckman. Fifth was Anna Rosner. Fourth place, Kirsten Jackson. In third place was Kylie Williams. Second place, Alex Kesson. And in first place, Izzy Zahn with a new meet record of 25.21 seconds. And with that win, or I'm sorry, with that race, the new team rankings for the girls, Minster on top, 117 and a half points. 
second place for sales, 110 points. So as we go down to it, this 3,200 meter run could be really big for Minster and for Versailles as they want to keep each other close heading into those four by fours. Yeah, as we look at some of the day one results, as we just saw some of the finals from today, it, the girls shot put top three uh, for Marion Local, Katrina Will, uh, Tori Yoy from Versailles in second, and with the championship from Marion Local, Amber Wendell, 38 feet, six inches for the girls shot put. For the girls discus, top three, Kate Busher from Coldwater, Finished third, Jenna Lugers from Coldwater also finished second. And the champion in the girls' discus throw from New Knoxville is Allison Top, 105 feet, 1 inches. Uh, we have just about a mile to go as your leader in the 3,200 meters from Fort Recovery. Fort Recovery's top runner, Natalie Brunswick, excuse me. As she comes across, we have four laps to go. We are going to step aside, and when we return, we will have the conclusion of the girls' 3,200-meter run here on WOSN. Welcome back to New Bremen High School in the MAC Track Championships. Today's scoreboard sponsor is Wabash Mutual Telephone, a proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. Today's premier sponsor for the New Bremen Cardinals is New Bremen Insurance. A commitment today can ensure a great tomorrow. Your leader, Natalie Brunswick, comes down the front stretch as she approaches... The start finish line. She is going to begin her last lap. As there is the gun signaling one lap left to go. She has a big lead over second place. As Minster was running 2 3 there for quite a while. As the teammates, though, have kind of spread themselves out a little bit, but still in second and third place. Followed closely behind by New Knoxville's Araya Fenning. And it also looks like Parkway's Taylor Mullenkamp has taken over that spot in fourth as those girls have been running together for most of this race as well. And yeah, Natalie Brunswick has been running such a solid race here in this 3,200 meter run. You know, really set the pace early. You know, looks really strong on that back stretch. Continues to stride out. Doesn't look like she's slowing down. And um, but it also looks like the Minster runner in second, has really kicked it into the gear. So seeing if she can maybe push her a little bit on this last 300 meters. And as it looks like Heitkamp is going to come around, uh, or excuse me, Brunswick, I mean, Heitkamp is her teammate on the other side. We'll get to see her run here shortly. But as Natalie Brunswick comes in, last 100 meters left to go, she has ran an absolutely fantastic race, led from start to finish. And she is going to finish this one up and take home the 2023 MAC Championship in a great race. Five meters left to go to make this one official as Brunswick kind of pumps her arms there at the finish, happy with the race that she just ran. Here comes Minster right behind her. And that is going to be Cheney Cedarleaf, I believe. Or excuse me, Maria uh, Niekamp, her teammate Cheney Cedarleaf, is actually going to be coming up here in third. She's trying to finish strong as Minster's going to come away with some really big points on two and three. As Parkway's Taylor Mullenkamp pulled away from New Knoxville's Araya Fenning. So Parkway's Mullenkamp is going to take home fourth. Fenning is going to come across in fifth. New Bremen's Riley Suchland is going to come across in sixth place. So a great run by these girls in the 3,200 meter we still have a few runners left on the track that need to finish up their race as they are pushing hard as Parkway has another runner coming up as that is uh, Christina Tong looking to finish strong to give Parkway a nice one-two punch to get some points here as she finishes her race strong as well. The boys, 3,200 meter runners are walking up the track as the girls are continuing to finish strong. Another strong finish here out of, it looks like that's going to be Carly Graves from Versailles. She's going to finish as well. So we will step aside, be back with the boys, 3,200 meter run. The boys, 3,200 meter run is underway. 
the record belongs to Joe Spitzer back in 2018, a time of 919.87 is the mark everybody's shooting for. And that's moving. <laughs> and yes, it is. 919, wow. Uh, but once again, we get to see Trevor Heitkamp, once again, the, the champion of the 1,600-meter run. Uh, is also here with the best seed time, comes in with a 9 minutes, 53-second time. Um, also with the top four times includes Ryan Haplin from Minster and also his teammate, Nick Pranger, and then from New Bremen, Zach Wiedemann, um, also in this top four. But as we look at the rest of the field, from Versailles, Grant Beasley, from Marion Local, Dalton Pullman, from Coldwater, Isaac Henwald, his teammate, Mason Ayers, from Parkway, Tyler Rowan, and Blaine Mullenkamp, from Versailles, Andrew Myers, from Marion Local, Lucas Brewing, from St. John's, Aaron Bakke, from New Bremen, Dominic Schroer, and St. Henry, Ryan Mestemaker. So the first lap has come and gone as Trevor Heitkamp ran a great first lap. He is out to a big lead. But the next group of runners, pretty much everybody except for maybe about two or three guys, all kind of in a straight line there, lining up to try to see if they can't put themselves in position to stay near the top here of, of this top eight and try to get some big points for their teams. Take a look at the results from the boys' 200-meter dash in eighth place. Austin Steinbrenner from Fort Recovery in seventh place from Mincer was John Keller. Seventh place from Versailles, Tyler Barga. In fifth place from Marion Local was Carter Jones. Fourth place from Parkway was Trevor Stearns. Harrison Wendell of St. Henry takes home third. Jack Reithman from Coldwater is your runner-up. And your champion in the boys, 200 meter dash in a time of 22.96 seconds for Marion Local was Nate Bush. The men's team scores after 15 scored events. Marion Local has extended their lead. They are on top with 174 points. Minster sits in second with 87, and Versailles is third with 73. As we look at our boys' pole vault results in eighth place, Gideon Beasley from Versailles. The teammates here from Coldwater, Carson Stamen and Carter Glassford, finished tied for sixth. In fifth place, Charlie Winner from Minster. His teammate, Dylan Watercutter, uh, fourth and fifth there. Hutch Ridnour finishes third from Parkway. Teammates from Marion Local in the top two in second place, Toby Kremer. And our champion this year from Marion Local is Nate Bersher with a pole vault of 14 feet 6 inches. So we look at one more result from day one, uh, the boys' discus throw. Top three, uh, Charlie Schmeising from Minster. Dustin Quinter from St. Henry finishes second. And Jack Knapke from Marion Local with a discus throw of 166 feet, four inches. Day is turning into night here at New Bremen High School. The rain has started to fall again as the boys' 3,200 meter participants are on the track. Trevor Heitkamp is leading it, but you have a nice pack behind him trying to stay close. We are gonna step aside and when we return, we'll have the conclusion of the boys' two mile here on WOS. Welcome back to New Bremen High School. Today's scoreboard sponsors Wabash Mutual Telephone, proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. Trevor Heitkamp, your leader, had just crossed the start finish line as he finishes up that, um, and he is well in the lead. Second place looks like right now it belongs to New Bremen, Zach Weedman. As he came in with the second best seed time and that is currently holding a nice pack there for second, third, fourth, and fifth. But it has been all Trevor Heitkamp from the beginning as he looks to be pouring it on with 200 meters left to go. Yeah, and Trevor Heitkamp has looked even better in this race than he did the 1600, has really extended that lead. This coming up, the last 100, you know, his stride looks really good. He's continuing to push and looked like he's kicked it into another gear. Lots of runners staying within striking range. See Minster's Nick Pranger back in third place as he is battling with Coldwater. And it looks like that is going to be Mason Ayers back there. So Heidkamp. He takes home the 2023 championship here in the boys' 3,200 meter run. Second place is going to belong to Zach Weedman as he is finishing strong crossing the finish line. Yeah. 
Minster and Coldwater both having runners come across the finish line in third and in fourth place respectively as Mason Ayers finishes strong as does Ryan Halpin. And then a big pack getting ready to come through as these boys have had to run through some elements as we had some rain creep back up. It rained hard for a while. The umbrellas came back up. The distance runners kind of race tonight, though, as they went through the elements. No winds, cool night, a little bit of rain. And these boys had finished this race strong. But as we mentioned, it was all Trevor Heitkamp as he led from start to finish. He is going to take home the 2023 MAC Championship with some boys, 32 miles to run. Final event of the night for the girls, the 4x400 four re meter relay is on the track and about to get underway heading into the final event when you take a look at the women's scoring. Minster is on top with a score of 131.50. Versailles back in second with 111 points. Coldwater in third with 82.50. Well, and as you said, the top two teams coming into the final race, uh, top two seeded times uh, with Minster with a four minutes, 15 seconds, and then Versailles with the same four, 15, just a little bit slower time here. Um, as we look at the lane assignments, though, in lane one is Marion Local, in lane two is New Bremen, in lane three is Fort Recovery, Minster with the highest seed time uh, with and lane four. Uh, lane 5, Versailles, and Lane 6, New Knoxville, and Lane 7, St. Henry, and in Lane 8, Coldwater, who is the reigning champs for the MAC championship. Meet record of 401.31, ran back in 2018. We talked about <laughs> we talked about the 400, and you know, you know these runners who love running this race are a little bit off. Well, sometimes that can rub off, and they get three teammates yep. with them, and they go out here, <laughs> and it is the showcase of the track meet. It ends every track meet. It is always exciting, especially when you have runners the quality that we're going to see here tonight. Yeah, always one of my favorite races at the end. You start seeing, you know, all the all their teammates coming out, supporting their teammates, pushing them on. Um, as you said, you know, a little, little bit of crazy um, for this 400 <laughs> race, but it's, it's a good crazy. Coming around the third, the third leg here, or third turn, excuse me, but coming down the front stretch. Out in lane eight. Tight race as they come in. Excuse me, it looks like lane eight is actually Cold water is a little ways back. That was St. Henry in lane seven. They had some trouble with the handoff, though, as it looked like Minster, Versailles, New Knoxville, about even. And as they go around the first turn, they'll be able to get rid of that stagger here as they reach this 100 meter of this second leg. Yeah, Minster did a great job on that handoff, and a little bit different of a handoff here um, with the 400. But we look at the Minster, Versailles, both runners really striding out on that back stretch. Minster just a good two legs ahead of the Versailles runner, but neither runner pulling away. And we continue to see a good lap here from both teams. Minster opens their lead just slightly here with 100 meters left to go in this second leg. So Versailles trying to stay close, trying to open that stride. Minster. Pumping the arms, getting through, wanting to open that lead. Third leg handoff, that one's good for Minster. Versailles has a clean one as well. Fort Recovery coming through in third. Close race for fourth between St. Henry and New Knoxville. New Bremen gets their handoff off. And that's Coldwater and Marion Local off on their third legs as well. Take a look up back towards the front. It is still Minster and Versailles battling it out for that top spot. 
As you said, Minster on top, Versailles. We look at third and fourth place. Looks like a battle there. Um, you know, neither runner there trying to, to get away from each other, keeping each other in sight here. As we look at fifth place coming in, uh, looks like they are closing in on that third and fourth place. So a good battle there behind the leaders. Minster trying to hold on to their lead, trying to fight off for sales who had come a little bit closer, but able to extend that back out as Minster will have the lead going into the final leg. They'll hand it off at about the same time. For sales going to have some work to do. Coming in third is Fort Recovery. New Knoxville, St. Henry, New Bremen all hand off about the same time. And here is Marion Local and Coldwater's anchor legs as they are off as well. Minster has opened that lead up towards the front. As for sales is trying to stay close, but it might be too much Minster tonight. For recovery all alone in third. So New Knoxville has taken taken over that fourth place and opened up a little bit of a lead, trying to see if they can't get close to Fort Recovery. Minster coming around the third leg. Third turn, opening up in the final 100. Here of the girls four by four, the Minster girls relay is gonna be the 2023 MAG champions. Versailles is gonna come in second. Fort Recovery holding on to third. New Knoxville comes in a strong fourth as St. Henry will be fifth, followed by New Bremen. Coldwater finishing up strong as well. And then it'll be Marion Local wrapping up the girls' four by four meter results. And that just leaves one race left on the evening. The boys' four by 400 meter relay is next. It's the final event of the evening. The boys' 4x400 four meter relay is on the track. Meet record is a time of 3 minutes, 22 seconds, and point one, or excuse me, 3 minutes, 22.17 seconds. That was set back in 2013. Yeah, as we look at the lane assignments here, and you know, we'll get to the, the point totals for the boys coming up, but the best time so far is once again Marion Local. And we've seen that a lot tonight with um, just the athletes that they produce um, here and throughout the MAC. Um, but we look at our lane assignments here. In lane one is Parkway. In lane two is St. Henry. In lane three is Coldwater. In lane four with the best time is Marion Local. In lane five is New Bremen. Uh, the reigning champs of the MAC is in lane six, Minster. In lane seven is Versailles. In lane eight is New Knoxville. Going into this event, the men's team scores. Marion Locals on top with 174 points. Minster in second, 96. And Versailles is in third with 77 points. They are off. We have a clean start. We'll see who gets out to a good start here, see if anybody can, can try to control the pace early. Marion Local in the middle of the track, trying to make up some ground. Minster right there as well. As it looks like New Bremen had the good start. They start reeling in. The teams up top there in lane seven and lane eight, Versailles and New Knoxville. Minster doing a good job here early to gain, it looks like maybe an early lead. But but that middle of the pack there with Marion Local, New Bremen, Coldwater, all are real close as the Minster runners starting to slow down a little bit. And yeah, Versailles did a great job of finding that extra burst there. Handoff, top four all handed off at about the same time. And Versailles, Minster, New Bremen, and Marion Local all right there. Be interesting to see where these guys line up here as they break the stagger. All those runners are able to cut in now after that first 100 meters of the second leg. And they are still side by side with Marion Local taking a slight edge. A really battle there for second and third place. It's like New Bremen's involved. We have Minster, Coldwater. Marion Local versus Sales, New Bremen. Minster trying to make a move on the outside to take over third place. Coldwater trying to stay close. 
Marion Local opening up the big lead. Here comes Versailles. Nice kick towards the end, just like we saw at the end of the first lap. Marion Local, Versailles, New Bremen, and Minster side by side coming around the first turn. Marion Local has opened up a nice lead, but Minster trying to track them down. Versailles and Marion Local staying right there as well within striking distance. See Coldwater's falling back just a little bit, but trying to stay close to those second, third, and fourth place runners. And St. Henry wraps up the top six. Marion Local coming around for the final 100 meters here of the second leg, trying to open up Versailles one more time with a nice kick, moves around Minster. New Bremen trying to do the same thing, but Minster holding him off. Yeah, good handoff there by Marion Local. Looks like a good 30 meter lead to start here this final leg and just really have to stretch it out and see if he can contain, continue to, to build on that lead. So the anchor legs are off. Let's see Parkway with the final handoff. Marion Local looks to be in control. Versailles, Minster, New Bremen fighting out for second, third, and fourth. Coldwater, they coming in in fifth currently. St. Henry, they are back in sixth place. Marion Local with the big lead looks to have this race well in hand. Final 75 meters. Minster and Versailles battling it out for second. Jack Grishup trying to see if he can't catch him. We've seen him close in his other races. It's going to come down to the finish line, but it looks like Versailles is going to hold them off as they will take home second. Minster in third, New Bremen in fourth, Coldwater fifth. St. Henry's going to come home in sixth with Parkway taking home seventh place. That brings the MAC championship to a close. We are going to step aside one final time. We'll be back with some final results and the team champions. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back on WOSN. Welcome back to New Bremen High School. Today's scoreboard sponsor is Wabash Mutual Telephone, a proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. Also like to thank today, today's premier sponsor for the New Bremen Cardinals, New Bremen Insurance. A commitment today can ensure a great tomorrow. We have wrapped this one up after an exciting 4x4 four four race and really a lot of exciting races from, races from start to finish today. We've seen a lot of close ones. We've seen some meet records. We saw a little bit of everything. We'll get to some final results. The girls' 3,200-meter run finally in eighth place was Carly Graves. Seventh was Christina Tong in sixth place, Riley Suchling. In fifth place was Araya Fenning. Fourth place, Taylor Mullenkamp. Third place, Cheney Cedarleaf. Second place, Maria Nykamp, and in first place in a time of 11 minutes, 45 seconds, was Natalie Brunswick of Fort Recovery. For the boys, 3,200-meter run. In eighth place, Grant Beasley of Versailles. In seventh place, Dominic Schroyer of New Bremen. Sixth place, Andrew Meyer of Versailles. Fifth place, Ryan Haplin of Minster. In fourth place was Nick Pranger of Minster. Fifth place, Mason Ayers of Coldwater. Second place was Zach Weedman of New Bremen. And coming away with the conference championship in a time of 9 minutes, 45.33 seconds from Fort Recovery was a Trevor Heitke. Yes, yeah, we look at the finals for the girls 4x4. Four four. In eighth place was Marion Local. In seventh place was Coldwater. In sixth place, New Bremen. In fifth place, St. Henry. In fourth place, New Knoxville. In third place, Fort Recovery. In second place for sales. And in first place with the championship is the team from Minster, consisting of Carrie Heckman, Ava Stamen, Cameo Cedarleaf, and Taylor Roth with a time of four minutes, two and 2.95 seconds. For the boys, four by four results. In seventh place, Parkway. In sixth place, St. Henry. In fifth place, Coldwater. In fourth place, New Bremen. In third place, Minster. In second place for sales and the champion for the 4x4 is your Marion Local Flyers uh, coming in with a time of 3 minutes, 27 seconds, 0.7 uh, with the team of Owen Muller, Owen Riddler, Wesley Schoen, and Andrew Pullman. 
The trophy presentation is underway as the 2023 MAC team champions are being announced. I know you have the final results in front of you as it was an exciting day with a lot of scoring, but depth really came into play. Yeah, absolutely. As we look at the final scores for our girls championship here in 10th place with Parkway with 21 points, New Knoxville had 35, St. John's had 42, tied with St. Henry with 42 points, New Bremen had 43.5 points, Marion Local 52.5, in fourth place Fort Recovery with 80, in third place Coldwater 84.5 points, in second place was Versailles with 119 points, and our champion of the 2023 MAC championship is the Minster Wildcats with 141.5 points. The Minster team just continues to roll as they add another MAC championship into the back on the guy sides of things as the rain starts to fall. They've announced that champion as well. Yeah, as we look at our, in 10th place, New Knoxville with eight points. Ninth place, St. John's with 24. Fort Recovery comes in eighth with 29 points. Parkway, seventh with 34 points. New Bremen in sixth with 50 points. St. Henry in fifth with 69 points. For Coldwater, in fourth place with 76 points. Versailles in third place with 85 points. Minster finishes second with 102 points. And as you said, Kind of the dominating team tonight um, was your Marion Local Flyers with 184 points. Marion Local really used depth to their advantages. They may not have, they did win their fair share of events, but on the ones that they didn't, they were doubling up points with second, thirds, fourth, and fifths, uh, and adding to their total that way to come away with a dominating victory here in the 2023 MAC Championships on the guys' sides of things. Well, as they say, if you don't like the weather in Ohio, just wait a minute. We saw a little bit of everything here tonight. It was hot, it was humid, it was cool, it was rainy. I think we heard some thunder in the dig in the distance at some point tonight. We just got a little bit of everything other than snow, which I'm very thankful for. But these teams came out, they performed tremendously, and when it was all said and done, the Minster Wildcats and the Marion Local Flyers come away with your championships in the 2023 MAC track here at New Bremen. We'd like to thank everybody for tuning in. We appreciate everybody, including our crew, doing a great job as always. Cassidy and Jacob here at the track with us, weathering the elements on the outside as we get to hang out in the press box. We appreciate everything you guys do. Zach back in the studio running, um, running the board and getting the edits done for us. Everything you guys do, we really appreciate it. We get to do the fun stuff. We get to watch the game. We get to call the action. You guys have to do all the other stuff, and we really do appreciate all that you do for us. One final time from the New Bremen High School. Marion Local on the boys' side. Minster on the girls' side. They're your 2023 champions of the Midwestern Athletic Conference track. They come away with dominating victories and add it to their already a uh, very lengthy legacy here on the track. For Josiah Stober, I am Nate Garlock. We appreciate everybody for tuning in, and have a great night, everybody.